What can you do with all this geographic data? Once it is loaded into the right software, a Geographic Information System, or GIS, there are a whole range of things that can be done. At the very basic level, it is a map. However, you can then start to show more than one layer of information. For example, you can show ward boundaries over a backdrop map to see which addresses are within the area. This is called a spatial query, using geography to give you a result to a question. You can also bring in your own information. For example, if you have a spreadsheet that has addresses or postcodes in it, you can use an addressing product and, within a GIS, match the postcode in the spreadsheet to the postcode in this product. You can then see where all your addresses are and this allows you to see patterns such as clusters or gaps. You could also then use the mapping to capture and create data from, for example, school catchment areas or bus routes. Rather than a list of roads, the area can be drawn as a polygon. Instead of a list of bus stops, a route can be drawn as a line. You can put buffers around features such as clearance around a wind turbine or railway lines. Once you have data in a GIS, you can then start to look at things spatially, such as what is the distance between A and B, what is the area of something, what is the length of something, or what is the distribution of something. This can be extended to queries such as what points or polygons are within an area, or what features such as buildings are above or below a certain size. If you have information that relates to areas, then you can display these as well. For example, with the general election, there's always a map showing areas of the country coloured to match the party that has won. This is called a choropleth, or thematic map, where the map is coloured according to a theme, in this case, the winning party. However, this could also be population, unemployment, crime, or anything that can be linked to a geographic area or polygon. If you have a road network product, then you can plot the route between two points. You can then create areas of distance along the roads from a point, 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers, or if you have information about speeds, you can do these in terms of time, one hour, two hours, and so on. Also, if you have the right software, you can take height data from a digital terrain model and model the landscape for analysis of what is visible from a point, such as when placing a wind turbine. As you can see, the analysis and potential that geographic data allows is endless. To find out more, please visit our website.